flick out our first baits about a foot to foot and a half. So you just slide it down, take up that strain. Yep. So we've got a little hole here. I think I actually had a bite. Reason why I picked this spot here. Okay guys, we're gonna do a bit of a shift. So I'm driving the beach and I've come across this spot here. It's where we were parked on the other side of the hole. 400 meters, there's an outside bank. Glenn's crossing over now. <laughs> we'll just have one cast here and see what happens. Sometimes the channels out here will hold fish and sometimes not. Jen's trying to feed the paddle crabs. Not only are we looking at fishing middle white today, we are doing a little bit of a clean up. Okay guys, we've moved on. We've probably done a probably two k's up the beach and found another bank got waves breaking way out there that's an outer bank and then we've got the inner bank that we're going to be standing on so we found a quite a nice little spot here definitely a channel running between the two so not only do we have the stir up of this bank here that we're going to be standing on we've got the stir up of that outer bank and we've got the channel in between so it's a pretty good spot to um, have a shot a lot of stir up should be some good food sort of getting cranked in around this spot here in that little channel so we'll bait up again and we'll go and have a shot out here so quite a nice spot this one okay guys this is what we would have been walking over probably about an hour ago got these little ruts that are still in behind the bank this is what we normally crossing over and then we're coming up on top of the bank. You can see how it's dry. Got water a little bit around us. Back there, where that guy's surf casting back there, is a hole. So I'm not sure if he's trying to cross that hole um, or fishing in it, but basically you need to be crossing that. I mean, look how far Glen is out compared to that guy back there. So whether he's walking three or four hundred meters out to the front I'm not sure but this is this is a good spot got a wave out in front of us not sure if it'll break it's not that big but there's a bank out in front of us basically about maybe 400 meters out the front and we're fishing in between the two so quite nice stir up Glenn's on Glenn's on me and Jen just had some snapper bites. Oh, it's a good fish. Me and Jen just missed a couple. Walk slowly backwards as you're winding. Let him run, let him run. Let him run if he has to. That's a big fish, mate. Yeah. Just walk back slowly, but when he pulls, let him pull. Yeah. Keep that tension on. He's playing the fish, he's playing the fish. Hopefully it's a nice snapper. Like I was saying, this is quite a nice spot, so we might be lucky on some snapper. Walk down this way, keep it tight. Walk this way, keep it tight. Might be a big Trevally. Might be a big Trev. Oh, it's a little stingray. It's not a ray, is it? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> after all that. <laughs> hey, okay, just a ray, guys. Me and Jen had some um, snapper bites, so we'll stay put. It's taken a while for them to, to bite. Probably been about 20 minutes. And me and Jen got a bite, so it's definitely snapper. So we'll stay put. Try some bait here. Little Ray. Yeah! 
little snippy. Nice little snappy. Best snapper though. Double hookups. Glenn just got a nice little snappy. I think I might have a little snappy too. Might even be takeable, eh? Using the waves, bring them in. We found the fish at least. Oh, I can see a red tail. I can see a red tail. Snapper time, boys! How's that? Glenn! <laughs> yeah, boy! Check it out! Oh, that's a nice fish, Jen. Look at the colour on them. No, that, that one's a Here you go, guys. Nice middle eye snapper on the MC Nano and the flight surf reel. Yeah, boy. So there you go, guys. What we've done this morning is basically we tried a couple of spots on that mid tide. Got a couple of bites in that hole. As that tide was dropping, we had to move. And we've tried a couple of banks until we've basically come across one that's giving us bites. Now that can be just from turning up at the right time, or sometimes these banks don't hold fish. So what I normally do, like I was saying, is we'll have a shot, maybe 15, 20 minutes, no bites. I move on to the next bank. Sometimes, like just that 100 meters to the next bank or a couple of k's up onto a new bank. What we've got out here, you can probably see it now, that wave breaking, it's, it's gonna disappear. Another one out here, breaking, disappearing, and then we're just fishing in that little channel between this bank right here that we're standing on and that one that was just breaking. What it normally is, is fish just mooch up and down that channel looking for food. A lot of stir up and basically after catching that fish getting bites pretty much straight away so we're definitely going to stay put here and um, hopefully pick up another couple fish but that wasn't a bad uh, fish it's quite a nice fish actually it's pretty much as long as a chili bin which i think is 60 centimeters So yeah, not a bad fish, we'll get another bait out. See if we can pick up another couple before it pushes us off. You get pushed off pretty quickly off these banks because when the tide's going out, obviously the waves aren't as strong. And then when the tide comes in, bigger waves, more surge. So good to get there. I try to get there sort of two hours before the low on your spot. Fish those two hours to the dead low get about an hour, hour and a half on that incoming before you sort of get pushed off. So we'll go give it another nudge. Jen's hooked up. Woo -hoo! You go girl! What you got, what you got? Jen's on the uh, 14 foot three piece soul surf with the 8K surf reel. Oh, I can see a red tail there. Woo -hoo! Little snappy.
just a little fella, he's takeable, no. but we'll uh, let him go. She's probably close to 30, pushing that 30 centimetres, but got that bigger one, we know there's bigger fish there, so Jen's going to uh, let him go. It's going home. Okay guys, tide's coming in, still on our spot, but like I was saying, this is the bank that we cross over to, you can see the water coming in, it's coming in around us, so there's water behind us coming in, but we're still on this sandy bank here, so this is what you're sort of looking for on that low tide, that sandy bank, it goes dry, it's all dry here, water's going to come in around, this is where the ruts are. That's what we're crossing over when the tide's not actually just right for us. We're crossing the ruts, coming up onto this bank, and then casting out. That's when the tide is higher. But when it's low, you can obviously see it. So try a couple more baits. Getting pushed off pretty quickly. But um, hey, we've caught a couple of fish. And I just wanted to do this video a little bit more about fishing middle. I still get a lot of questions about it. A lot of guys coming through how to pick the spots and stuff like that. And as you've seen, we're using braid. They're not breaking away. I don't know what's sort of happening with a few of you guys. Uh, we've got waves there, obviously not huge. It's only a meter today, but we've got waves there. We're walking out to that lip and we're casting beyond the waves. When you're fishing that higher tide, you're fishing within the waves. That's why I like fishing middle way on that low tide. You're basically in that calm spot in that channel that runs down between here and that outer bank so i don't know just maybe uh have a shot at that low low tide and um try and pick a spot that uh, doesn't sort of get too much waves around your line but not too bad today just a couple put a couple of little rays it's a little bit harder when i'm sort of baiting up for the guys as well so not going too hard out. It's a little bit more forming for you guys. Jen just dropped a real nice fish. Don't think she's still got it. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, you go, girl. Keep that line tight. Keep that line tight. Might be a little ray. Might be a nice snapper. Keep that line tight. The old MC Nano flight surf in action. Yeah, it's probably a ray. Yeah. Oh, 
old Ray Ray. Oh, Got pushed off our little uh, bank. We've come up the beach again. A little bit further up, we found this little inside gutter. Basically just a little gutter sort of thin out here and widens as the beach goes on. So I thought we'd chuck a uh, bait out. And we're hooked up. Probably just a car white. We thought we'd finish off chucking a few baits in some of these little um, inside gutters. sort of in between those tides again, which make it hard. A little bit of fun on the car wipe. Yeah, been fighting the fish the whole time. Big car white. Jeez, big, eh? Big, big car He's a biggie. There you go, just a big car white. Yeah, we've got this little, um, this little probably inside gutter, I'd call it, it's out in front of us. Basically it thins out here to the, towards the bank, but widens out that way. So we're just on that inside, we're hoping just fish will come up, mooch in here. Got a few workups out there as well. Again, it's a diving. But we thought, um, yeah, we'll just chuck a couple of baits here finish the day off, maybe on a couple of kawai, but sometimes you get the trevally in here. It's a lot of food here, there's heaps of paddle crabs here. And you never know, might even like a snapper. So remember when you're casting, do your break up. Otherwise you'll cut your finger. Probably make this our last beat. Oh, we're hooked up. We're hooked up again. Hopefully, it's a nice snapper. Nah, it's a car while I can see him jumping. Coming in on the wave. Use those waves. It's a shark. Little shark. Little bronzy. Looks like a little bronzy. Upside down, sleep. Might swim out to Glen and bite him. Glenn's on, Glenn's on. Yeah, you go, boy.
Yeah, he's still there. What you got, fella? <laughs> oh, could be a trivi. Could be a trivi. He's a trivi boy. <laughs> so I was saying, eh? Hey, it's a good little spot. Little trivs, car boy. Had a real nice bloody bank on as well. Look at Finishing the day off on a couple of fish. Yeah. Little Trevi. It's gone. It's going home. Just winding, there's a little hole there, eh? Yeah. There's quite a lot of different things in there, though. There you go, guys. That's what I was saying, that little inside gutter there. It's enough water for the fish. Should be Trevally there, Carway. Caught the shark. Might even luck a snapper. Probably got a couple of baits left to try before we get sort of cut off here. So we'll give a couple more. We'll probably call it a day. It's been a pretty cool day. Baby snapper, is it? That's a snapper for a Yeah, baby, oh, wow. baby snapper. It's so small though, eh? Yeah. Yeah, can I can you hold the rock? Yeah. But it's a snapper! It's a sign that there's snapper here, that's great. There's even a little snapper here in this little windside gutter. If they're here, they can always be something a lot bigger. It's quite fishy this spot. up again. Feels like a little snappy. Getting pushed off our spot. That's the trouble. You find a spot that starts to reduce and you get kicked off after a few baits. Did get a couple of nice hits before.
There you go, it's the little fella. Once again, probably takeable. But we'll let him go. He's not takeable in our books. He's probably around that, close to that 32, maybe 33 centimeters, but we'll let him go. There you go, just a little fella, but hey, having a lot of fun at the end of the day. Okay guys, gonna call it a day. It's a pretty cool day. Day out with the sister, Jen, and her partner, Glenn. Got onto a few fish. This little video is just a little bit more about giving you some more tips. Hopefully they help. But uh, we got a nice fish to take home for dinner. We're gonna have some fresh snapper burgers for tea. Caught a couple of trevs, kawai, and a couple of uh, little rays, which has been fun anyway. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully a few tips are there to help, help you out. And uh, till next time, tight lines.